Yes, I am calling to invite Mr. Moore to meetings. There is a lot of phone calling going on at the Safer Atlanta for Everyone headquarters these days. Staffers there are now figuring out who will get how much of that federal money. The grant proposal suggests five main areas of expenditures. An after-school care program for about 1,000 students. A short-term residential home for problem children. A 24-hour teen crisis hotline training programs to help parents and teachers cope, and law enforcement programs for Atlanta teenagers. Those will be primarily expansions of programs that already exist, so now officials are working on step two, deciding which departments will administer the programs. It will probably be done by committee, where we'll ask uh, organizations to submit applications uh, to run them, to submit work plans and then we'll subcontract those portions out which can't obviously be run by the Department of Public Safety. According to Commissioner Lee Brown who is overseeing the plans, the money might also be used to keep open community centers now closing for lack of funds. But there might be snags. Now, we'll be looking at that as an issue and as a concern and as a possibility, but the specifics have not been developed yet. We have to follow carefully the guidelines that's developed by the Congress for this funding program in Washington. Next week, juvenile justice officials from Washington will be here in Atlanta to hear the final proposals on how that money should be spent. As to when the programs will actually begin, officials here would just say, as soon as possible. Hank Phillippe, Action News.